May 13, Our Lady of Fatima. Much has been written concerning the six famous apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary in a little town in Portugal between May 13th and October 13th, 1917. Later, it would be said, and rightly so, that everything she predicted there to the three little shepherds has been fulfilled point by point. The story is too long to tell in detail in a few words, and indeed it is not over yet. Our Lady of Fatima was sent to warn the 20th century that humanity had not followed the path that had been indicated to it by her son. Humanity had not developed as God intended, and the time of the last and worst enemy was fast approaching. She said that if her request for prayer and penance were not heard, communism would spread its errors all over the earth. She appealed to the apostles of the later times to come forth, those who lived in humility, poverty, and contempt for the world, repeating what she had already said at La Salette, France, in greater detail in the year 1846. Today we will discuss the first apparition of Our Lady on May 13, 1917. On that day, Lucia, Francesco, and Jacinta were out playing when they saw two flashes like lightning, after which they saw the Mother of God above an oak tree. She was, according to the description of Lucia, a lady dressed in white, more brilliant than the sun. Her face, indescribably beautiful, was neither sad nor happy but serious, with an air of mild reproach. Her hands joined together as if she were praying or resting at her breast and pointing upward. A rosary hung from her right hand. The children were so close to Our Lady, about a yard and a half away, that they stood within the light that radiated from her. The conversation developed in the following manner. Our Lady said, Do not be afraid, I will not harm you. Lucia responded, Where is your grace from? Our Lady replied, I am from heaven, as she pointed to the sky. What does your grace wish of me? said Lucia. I have come to ask you to come here for six months in succession on the thirteenth day of each month at the same hour. Later, I will tell you who I am and what I want. Afterwards, I will return here a seventh time. Lucia said, And will I go to heaven too? Our Lady replied, Yes, you will. And Jacinta? Also, said Our Lady. And Francesco? Also, but he must say many rosaries. Is Maria das Neves already in heaven? asked Lucia. Yes, she is. And Amelia? She will be in purgatory until the end of the world. Do you wish to offer yourselves to God to endure all the sufferings that he may be pleased to send you? As both an act of reparation for the sins which he is offended and an act of supplication for the conversion of sinners? Lucia said, Yes, we do. Our Lady replied, Well then, you will have much to suffer, but the grace of God will be your comfort. It was upon saying these last words, the grace of God, that for the first time she opened her hands, which emitted a most intense light that penetrated our breasts, reaching the innermost part of our souls and making us see ourselves in God, who was the light more clearly than we can see ourselves in the best mirrors. Then, driven by a deep inspiration, we knelt down and repeated inwardly, O Most Holy Trinity, I adore Thee. My God, my God, I love Thee in the Most Blessed Sacrament. A moment later, Our Lady added, Pray the Rosary every day to obtain peace for the world and end the war. She immediately began to rise toward the east until she disappeared far into the distance. The light that surrounded her was, so to speak, opening the way through the sky for her.